Hello, divers. Allie Pierce again. Sea Hunt remembered. Absolutely. This is an opportunity for you to learn about Sea Hunt. Probably the most exciting and famous uh, TV show of the 50s and 60s, and even remembered today and celebrated today as well. Maybe on one of these episodes, I'll talk about some of our Sea Hunt episodes where a bunch of old guys, oh, young guys too, actually, get together and we go to a famous uh, Sea Hunt filming location, Silver Springs, California, where it happens to be, and we put on Sea Hunt scenarios. That's right. We, uh, we play like sh sh shirts and skins we used to play in high school. We're good guys and bad guys, and we shoot each other and pull out knives. Oh, it's a lot of fun. I'll tell you about that sometime. Today, however, in this Sea uh, Hunt Remembered uh, uh, issue uh, episode, I want to talk about something very, very special. It is a very special part of my collection. It is very, very rare. I told you that I would share some ideas on whether some of these items from Sea Hunt are rare or not. This item is very, very rare. You notice that I'm holding up this, uh, this comic book. And I'm holding up this comic book for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's pretty exciting. Uh, there's Mike Nelson, played by Lloyd Bridges, of course, as you know, and uh, looking pretty serious. He's got this B4 mask, Voight B4 mask on his forehead, a $1,200 mask that originally cost three bucks. And he's got a Voight lung uh, and his uh, suit and everything else. But what's he got in his hands? You didn't see Mike Nelson very often with a gun, not too often. He had spear guns occasionally, not very often with a real gun. Well, this is about as close to a real gun as you're going to get. But actually, it's a spear gun. This particular gun that he's holding right here, and, he, and we study these, you know, sea hunt nuts, as we're called, aficionados. I like the word aficionados, but sometimes people can't say that, so they say nut. And that's fine, too. <laughs> anyway, a sea hunt nuts. We look at these pictures from the series, from the comic books, and the actual episodes, and from the TV ads and so on, and we analyze them. What's he got on? What gauge is that? And then we go out and see if we can find one. It's a lot of fun. This particular uh, comic book, Dell comic book, uh, has a picture of Mike Nelson holding this, this special spear gun. And by looking at it very, very closely, we were able to figure out what gun it is. And so it is, we know now that this is what was called at the time, in the 60s, the Mordem. M-O-R-D-E-M, -E Mordom. A very, very rare, very sophisticated, very special kind of spear gun. It was Italian-made. It was advertised in Skin Diver magazine, the uh, big publication, probably the biggest that ever existed in the world. It was advertised in Skin Diver magazine. It wasn't cheap. Oh, no, no, no. You could buy a nice spear gun for 30 bucks. You could buy a really nice spear gun for 40 bucks. This was over 100 over $100. So one reason why they're kind of rare. Secondly, they're Italian-made. Not necessarily bad, but they were a little bit sophisticated. It's like buying a Ferrari, you know, a lot of bits and pieces to it. The Mortem gun also was like that. It took a little bit of maintenance, and it was kind of odd the way it worked and fired and so on. I'm going to show you that. Point is that there weren't too many of these Mortem guns ever sold. They were off the market within a couple of years. To the best of our knowledge right now, we only know three of these guns. There may be more. So if you are out there and watching this particular episode and you have one, please don't get upset. But we only know of three. If you have one, please call me. Then we'll know of four or five or six. At the moment, we know of three. I have one. Now, I, I need to clarify that the one I have, the Mortem gun that I have, the same gun that Mike Nelson used in Sea Hunt, uh, came to me for, from a very, very dear friend, uh, a, a real legend in scuba diving, a, a genuine uh, a leg legend of diving, uh, Dr. Sam, who uh, lives in California, been diving since the 50s, a very close friend of mine. And uh, he has stayed here with us in Canada, and we have stayed with him down there in, uh, in California numerous times too. And he happened to have this Mortem gun. And uh, he showed it to me. <laughs> Big mistake. Because I knew what it was. I think he knew what it was too, but he showed it to me one day. And uh, I have had my uh, designs on it ever since. So finally, I didn't bother him about it. I think he knew from the look in my eye that I would like to have it. So finally, uh, one day, I was down there visiting, and he said to me, Alec, would you be interested in buying my Mortem gun? I didn't want to appear too anxious, so I wiped the drool, drool off my chin and said, sure, 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 Sam. <laughs> anyway, Sam offered me this Mortem gun. And when, I, when he gave it to me, it was in absolutely mint condition. A gun that Sam gave me, he had, he had cleaned it and made new handles and bits and pieces for it. It was in mint condition. Let me show you that gun. Okay, here it is. You won't see this probably anywhere else, folks. Well, there you go. There is the Mortem gun. It's the very same gun that Mike Nelson is holding on the front cover of that particular comic issue. There it is. In almost perfect condition. Even the warning decal on the front is still there. Spears in perfect condition. 
the handle, the grips. A lot of these Sam had remade. Sam is a bit like me. He's a little bit uh, particular. I was after a good word. <laughs> My wife uses a different word, but particular is good. And so he has kept this gun in absolutely mint condition. I've seen others, uh, the other two, I've seen pictures of them, and they're not nearly as good as this. And in fact, this gun is not only in mint condition, it's in perfect working order as well. Very unique gun. The, uh, the handle comes off, the, the, the stock comes off, it locks in place, it has a, it has a, 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 a a bolt, just like a rifle, comes back and holds in place. It has a line release in here. It has a spear in the top end, of course. The spear goes down inside, line release in the spear, and all the bits and pieces. So, you know, in a lot of ways, it looks very, very much like a spear gun. But it is shaped and has the look of an assault rifle, too. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be surprising if somebody mistook this for a genuine firearm, a genuine assault rifle. It had that look. And there's one reason why it was uh, popular among divers, and uh, they just couldn't afford to buy it. They liked the look of it. It was, it was pretty neat. That's the Mortem Spear Gun. So, number one, it's in mint condition. Number two, it's very, very rare. I have no idea how much you would pay for these if you found one. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if one of these became available, or if you found one, and the person asked you for $1,500, $2,000. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. This one is not for sale, which means $2,000 won't get it. Uh, this is special to me because I got it from my good friend Sam, and also because it is one of the very few examples in the world. And also, of course, the whole reason for my excitement, because this is the gun that Mike Nelson used. I went a little bit farther with this particular gun. I'm not even sure if Sam knows about this. One of the problems with this gun was getting ammunition. Because <clears throat> the gun was made by Mortem, the Italian company, and uh, you couldn't just get normal ammunition. They had to make the ammunition. They actually sold the ammunition in small boxes, a box of 20. They were special uh, cartridges. They were, where did I put my cartridges, Kevin? Uh, there they are. Uh, and, and they were 30 caliber cartridges, uh, like a 357, uh, with gunpowder, normal gunpowder. Um, but they didn't have a bullet. Instead, they had a wax cap. Yes, this is a cartridge for the Mortem gun. Now, if you think the gun is rare, try to get these. Because these are only available from Morden, from Morden, for this gun in pack box of 20. Very, very hard to find. I don't know where you would find one of these. They had a red uh, plastic insert in the top. There was no bullet. And, of course, what that means is, you, maybe you're catching on here, is that this particular spear was actually driven out of the gun by the explosion of the gunpowder. So the spear, you see how thick it is? The spear is very, very thick. It has a seal on the bottom end, very tight seal, fits in the inside of the barrel. So you would drop the cartridge down inside. Cartridge fit into the end, you see that? Put it in here, then drop the whole thing down inside. That fits in like so, there it goes. Then this will go down inside like so, and drop down to the very bottom. And then uh, you're all set to go. You have your line on there, and you find your fish, and I'll just pull the trigger on this so you can see it actually does fire. And you're all set to go, you find your fish, it's a strange way to hold a spear gun, but this is the way that, and you squeeze the trigger, and off it went. Fired the cartridge, and the spear was spat out the front end. Pretty special. A neat gun, really, really interesting. A lot of maintenance, pretty sophisticated. A lot of bits and pieces and parts. Also explains why it's not that popular. Well, it not, didn't sound too many, but really, really neat. And for me, and for you maybe, Mike Nelson's Sea Hunt Mortem Spear Gun. Very, very special. Thanks. Thanks to my friends, Sea Hunt. Thanks to all my new friends watching Sea Hunt Remembered. And uh, maybe you'll be interested in getting your own collection started. Get in contact with me. Send me a message if you're interested or have some questions. Thanks very much. Alec Pierce, Sea Hunt Remembered.